Personal year number six. Following the hectic and perhaps crazy pace of the previous year, you will probably want to slow things down a bit now, but just a bit. The focus is on responsibility, whether in family and home life, in the community or in the workplace. This is a time for balance, peacefulness, and service to others. This can be a happy time for love and relationships. Oftentimes, people can get married during a number six personal year. And if, however, you have been experiencing relationship issues for quite some time, things could come to a head. So you can get some counseling if necessary. Expect to be bombarded by requests for help and support from those for whom you are responsible. Balance work and home life and be honest with what you can and cannot do for others. Give up excessive idealism and make time for romance. Don't take on more responsibility than you can honestly handle just to be liked by others. Otherwise, you will be resentful. So avoid making promises that you cannot keep. It's also common for people during this time to have children. Or the children becomes the focus and then you'll be spending more time with your kids and spending more quality time with your family overall. So during this time, the focus is not on you anymore. The focus is on other people and taking care of other people's needs and being of service to others. The number six is associated with the planet Venus, which is the planet of beauty. So you could be doing a lot of things that will make your life more beautiful, like decorating your home or renovating your house. There could be a lot of great progress this year and major career or business opportunities or financial advancement. It's an abundant year. And usually people who are in their personal year number six get to experience more love in their lives than any other year. You will be feeling the love and support from your family and friends and sometimes issues and problems within the marriage or significant relationships can come to the surface during this year and um, they need your attention. But don't worry because you will possess the understanding to deal with these issues effectively. And so like I've said earlier, this is a year to be more of service to others and help others. But don't also don't forget to take care of yourself. And don't don't neglect yourself. What else? Uh, you may want to improve your beauty. Some people may change their hair color or have some surgery done or some something new. Or it could also be as simple as you may want to change the way you style your hair or the way you put on your makeup. You may want to get a haircut or change the way you dress or change your wardrobe. Be careful about not being too superficial and vain and possessive and jealous and unwilling to change. Be open to change. It's definitely okay to have high standards and high expectations and to love yourself. Loving yourself is very important and learning to love yourself is very important so you can love others more, so, so you can give more love to others. Be kind to yourself, and I hope that you enjoyed this reading, and I hope that this video helps. Have a wonderful year ahead. Take care of yourself. Bye.